how many shots of vodka can take Talia down? Huh? <laughs> I got my COVID test results yesterday and I tested positive. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to part two of the hotel quarantine vlog. Sorry, this is not a proper intro, but when I put together all the footage I filmed, it was way too long. So I decided to split this vlog into two parts. This is part two. In this video, I do more food reviews. I answer more of your guys' questions and I prank call people. So stay till the end because it was really funny. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Oh God. I look so rough today. Good morning guys, day three in quarantine, last and final day, 11 almost. I slept at like six something yesterday. Just got breakfast, apple juice, and the yogurt. I love yogurt. My pancakes. Oh, they're so cute. They look so good. They put like icing sugar on it too. This is what it looks like. Doesn't it look so good? Yeah, they smell really good too. Taste test. It's cold now, so it doesn't taste as good. It's okay though. Would have been way better if it was hot. I rate them like a seven. Hey y'all, I'm back with another meal. I literally just ate breakfast like a couple hours ago. I'm not even hungry. I've literally just been eating and I'm like constantly full because I'm not doing anything else. I've just been sitting here, my little setup, doing some schoolwork and editing my vlog. But yeah, it's pretty nice out today. Look, it's nice and bright out. Honestly, this hotel quarantine's not that bad at all. I'm enjoying it. Here's another meal. I got the chicken vindaloo wrap. I don't really know what it is, to be honest. Sun chips. Another Pepsi. Another water. Here's the wrap. This is what it looks like. Ooh, and they have dad cookies. Let's do a little taste test. I just got the bread. Interesting. There's like chicken and lettuce in the wrap. The chicken kind of tastes like butter chicken, so I'm liking it. It's good. Mmm. I rate it like a solid 8 out of 10. It tastes really good. It tastes like butter chicken, and then the lettuce is like crunchy, so it gives a little texture. It's good. Anyways, also apparently people have started getting their COVID test results back, and I haven't. So I'm a little anxious, but honestly, I don't mind staying here. Pretty nice. I think we're update. It's currently five something. I took a nice nap since I didn't sleep much yesterday. Since I haven't been doing much today, I decided that I'll be answering the rest of your questions from yesterday's Q&A session that I didn't answer. So let's get into it. First question. How do you manage to play badminton and keep up with your studies at the same time? I get this question a lot, actually. Basically, what I do is just like stay super organized, write a to-do list every week and like I check them off as I go. That's like super satisfying to me. I don't know if that's weird. And I also use an agenda. I don't know what I would do without my agenda. Like honestly, my agenda has like everything in it. I avoid procrastination and when I work, I don't go on my phone. Like I leave my phone upstairs and I'm like working downstairs. Okay, next question. How did you get into badminton? I also get this question a lot actually. I got into badminton because my parents, mostly my dad actually, when I was around like seven, my parents used to take private lessons with my very first coach. His name is Effendi. I used to just tag along to their semi-private lessons and I remember running around the court and stacking the shuttles so that they formed like a long snake around the whole court. Good times. Anyways, I remember my dad told me that when I was seven, he asked Effendi if I had potential in badminton and he said I was too young or something and told me to go back to dancing because at that time I also used to do dance. So then I went back to dancing and then I think I went back to him one or two years later and then I started started training with him. It all started with once a week Sunday classes and then I played my very first tournament under 10 and I lost. I got second and I cried. My parents were like, oh my god, like she's actually like not bad at this. And then I continued and then I started training more and more. I joined the team and then I started playing more tournaments as well. Provincial and then national and then international and now here I am. <laughs> Next question, badminton or vodka pick one? Badminton obviously. Next question, how many shots of vodka can take Talia down? No comment. Pass. How's Life Sai? Life Sai is really good. So I go to McMaster, if you guys didn't know, and I really love it there. The important thing is like I met the right people. Honestly, going there, I was dreading it at the beginning because originally I wanted to go to Western, but my parents didn't want me to go to Western, and they wanted me to go to U of T, but I didn't want to go to U of T. So Mac was like my last viable choice. So I was sort of forced 
to go there. I was dreading it. I literally knew no one going into first year of university, but thankfully I've met the best people there and yeah, I really love it at Mac now and I'm really glad I chose Mac. The environment there, the people there is just... 10 out of 10. Oh, I will say first year was kind of rough for me I met really good people but studying was hard because in high school I studied by going over my notes, but in university you have to study differently You can't just go over notes. You have to do practice exams past papers I remember my mom telling me that at the beginning of first year and I didn't listen to her because I was like Oh my god, I get 90 pluses in high school already. I have no problem with studying I know how to study and I also missed a month of school first year because I went to play worlds and and I did not do so hot. Chemistry was one of the hardest courses I took in first year. And first of all, I missed a midterm because I was away at Worlds. I did the second midterm and I got a 52 because I was studying wrong. I didn't do practice papers back then. And then I studied super hard for the final. I went to office hours every day. I went to see the prof every day. I reached out to TAs like every day. And I did all the past papers like multiple times. And thankfully I finished with an A. After that experience, second term was easy. Second year was also so easy i think learning how to study in university was like the hardest thing for me but like once you get that i feel like it's just easy from there life size is really good though except it, it is a lot of work compared to health side next question what is your ultimate badminton goal to represent canada at the olympics next question why did you want to start a youtube channel i want to start a youtube channel because i want to share my badminton experiences and travel experiences with everyone as a badminton athlete also i want to have those videos out there so when i'm like 70 i can look back at them and be like damn i did that wow <laughs> next question what is your favorite number i don't have a favorite number next question favorite food i have a lot of favorite foods but i crave different foods at different times i'll list some foods that i like i like steak pasta specifically bolognese pasta so good love me some popeyes even though it's very unhealthy i love soft serve i love bubble waffles but only the ones from hong kong because the ones in hong kong are like on another level the ones in canada are soggy sushi i also love i'm gonna move on to the next question because if not i'm gonna keep listing like all the foods in the world okay next question what's one thing that made you a better badminton player this is a good question probably the fact that i'm so competitive makes me a better player because i always want to be the best and i will do whatever it takes to be the best so that makes me work harder and keeps me motivated next vacation spot after corona honestly no idea literally anywhere hot would be nice with a beach next question your favorite one direction song i never really listened to one direction even like when i was younger i was never really a fan okay what makes you beautiful is obviously a classic it's a little overplayed though story of my life is a good one drag me down is a good one also biggest fear losing all my family and all my friends that's so sad or failure because i'm like a perfectionist and I always like to be the best at everything which is not possible next question what's the best way to spend a rainy afternoon probably just sleep I feel like rainy days are the perfect days for sleeping do you think that you look like Indonesian I think when I was younger yes now like less because when I was younger a reef I'll put his picture here he used to coach at the badminton club I used to train at and everyone would call me his younger sister because I literally looked like him like our skin tones were similar and I was literally really skinny back then and I was literally a stick and he was also super skinny he was from Indonesia what's your guilty pleasure probably like eating junk food at 12 a.m. in the morning I always get hungry at night and then I just snack on the most unhealthy things like ice cream, chips, cake, or like some type of dessert. Okay, I guess that's it. I don't want to answer any more questions. I'm gonna eat dinner now. I think I heard the person knock on the door a while ago. Dinner! Oh my god, guys, look at the view. Look at the view. Look at the view. It's so pretty. Look, look at the sun. Wow. Anyways, let's see what we got for dinner. Pretzels. Another bottle of water. Look, I'm collecting all my waters over here. Another Pepsi. Another water. Cheesecake. It kind of looks good. Let me show you guys what the salmon looks like. Ooh. It smells okay. Taste test. Oh, I hope it's not too fishy because I hate fishy food. Mmm, it's pretty good. Mmm, it's so good. Wow, I'm impressed. I'd rate this a 9 out of 10, honestly. And it's not that dry. It's like perfectly cooked. Honestly, I've been enjoying myself here. Look at my big room. Look at my big bed. And 
The food is like honestly not bad. I'm gonna go on live now because a lot of people have been telling me to. Update y'all. I finished dinner and I went on live and can you hear my laptop right now? I'm exporting a video right now and it's like going helicopter mode. Anyways, I went on live. It was a fun time. I ate my dinner, talked to some people. Some people requested to join my live. It was a fun time and I painted my nails. Now I'm watching my game. First round when I played against the Mexican girl at Senior Pan Ams. Did some bio lectures earlier. I think I'm gonna do one more before I go to bed tonight and I have class tomorrow morning. So. A few moments later. It's 10 p.m. now and I'm sort of bored so I'm gonna prank call some of my friends. I don't know if you guys have seen this trend or prank on TikTok already. I'm gonna call my friends on FaceTime and when they answer I'm gonna be like oh my god I'm so sorry like I'm busy right now can I call you back later and then I'm just gonna end the call so they're gonna be super confused because I'm the one who called them. Let's see how this goes. Now I'm gonna call Kat first. Hi, I'm like busy right now. Can I call you back later? No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my god, this girl literally just flipped me off. Oh my god. A few moments later. Okay, Kat just called me back. We had a nice little conversation and we spilled a little bit of tea. Let me call Vanya. Hi, I'm really busy right now. Can I call you back later? Did you call me or? <laughs> well, I'm confused. Oh, I feel bad. She was confused. Let me text her. Let's call the next person. Let's call my coach on WhatsApp. Hello. Hi, I'm really busy. Can I call you back later? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> oh my god, he was, he was so confused. His reaction was so funny. Oh, wait, my coach is calling me back. What do you mean? You're so bad. I was just prank calling you. Oh my god, why is this like giving me anxiety? Like a little like... Let's try somebody else. Does Brian still use iMessage? <laughs> I gotta do something. Can I call you back later? Okay. <laughs> Wait, why does no one like question? Why is everyone so normal? It's like when I call you and I'm like, can I call you back later? Isn't that like weird? Oh my God, that's so funny. Oh my God, I can do this all day long. This is so fun. Okay, I'm gonna call Joe. Hi, I'm really busy. Can I call you back later? <laughs> you called me and, and now you now you hang up. I'll call for you. Okay, bye. <laughs> Oh my god, I feel so bad. Okay, well, I think that's enough. Oh my god, look at what Joe just texted me. I'll put right here. So funny. Oh my god, I feel so bad. That's really fun though. Let me know if you want me to do more. I'll literally do a whole video just calling people and doing that. Honestly, it's so fun. Enough of the prank calling. I'm gonna call back the people and actually talk to them now. I feel really bad, so. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Day three, I got my COVID test results yesterday and I tested positive. Just kidding. I tested negative, so I'm finally leaving today. My mom's coming to pick me up this morning at 10 and it's 9.15. I still need to pack and I need to eat. So I literally got the same classic breakfast. Yogurt, apple juice, croissant, and eggs, bacon, and tater tots. Same thing as I had like two days ago. The eggs are still looking whack. I just showered. That's why my hair is all wet. I already rated this, so I'm not gonna rate this breakfast again. Look who it is, my mother. Do you have a good trip? Yes, I had a great trip. Yes. Honestly, the quarantine was not bad at all. I enjoyed myself the three days and I had a really nice room and a really nice view. It was fun filming this quarantine, chilling with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like and please subscribe if you would like to. I gotta rush home to my class, which is in 15 minutes. I guess that's it. See you guys next week. Bye.